I'm Charles McCain. The book I'm going to review now is called Last Train from Berlin, an eyewitness account of Germany at war. And it's by the American journalist Howard K. Smith, who really did get out on the last train from Berlin uh, before the United States, before Germany declared war on the United States. And it's uh, a memoir by, about really just his time in the, in the capital in Berlin. And the, the best uh, memoirs I find of the Second World War by Americans or, or British are, are journalists because they are, you know, they're professional observers. And so they, they see all these little things that, that you're curious about but you often don't find in other books. And Howard K. Smith, his is, is, is book is like that. I mean, he gives you details. I mean, one of the details I used in my novel that I found in here was that uh, at German newsstands, there were all these magazines of, of nude women you know, performing gymnastics. And this was part of the uh, sort of culture of, of the body and health that the Nazis had for their own people. Of course, they murdered everybody that wasn't you know, on their side. And you know, you're kind of like, that's a fascinating detail, and of course you can't, I mean, how do you find that? He also, there's also something in here where he is walking down the entrance in Linden in the beginning of the war with a German officer, uh, and the German officer says, well, you know, we can't be defeated. I mean, uh, so he says, I was strolling down the entrance in Linden with this officer in the first spring of the war, and he told me, look around you here, Smith, nowhere a sign of war, not the slightest difference. It's the best argument for our strength. We shall never be beaten. Several years later, when he's back in the U.S., he writes, uh, Berlin uh, is really beginning to look part of the city at war. He knows there's some photographs. I should like to stroll down the end of London and beyond with my officer friend now. That, however, is impossible because a Bolshevik shot both of his legs off in the Battle of Kiev. And so it's kind of that juxtaposition then that really gives it a sense of immediacy and, and flavor. I certainly give it five stars. Uh, Howard K. Smith just died a few years ago, he lived in Washington, uh, brilliantly written, but, 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 but contemporaneous. I mean, it was written right after he left Germany. I mean, he didn't write it like 50 years later. And so it has that sense of immediacy and detail and sort of grittiness of what was going on quite worth reading.